Hello everyone. So today I'm doing a little tutorial slash review on the Makeup Revolution Soph Extra Spice Palette. When I saw this palette online, I thought it screamed fall and I thought it was super, super pretty. thought it had a good mix of cool tones and warm tones in it. And for whatever reason, I'm super late to the game with this because I only just discovered it. I don't know how I didn't see this sooner, <laughs> but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So I was super excited to pick it up. Um, I picked it up during a, a little bit after the 21 Days of Beauty um, I saw it and I just had to have it so I grabbed it and I'm really excited to play with it today I think the colors in here are just I they're just really really pretty I'm really loving the greens and you know you got your cool tones down here you've got your cherries and then your oranges and yellows and, and I just like it and I also love that it comes with a really big mirror too so overall I just think that this palette is absolutely gorgeous I don't think I've ever tried a Makeup Revolution palette before, so I'm actually genuinely interested in seeing how these perform. Um, I believe this was only like $15, so it's pretty cheap as well. So I'm excited. I'm really excited to play with this and see what look I can create. Um, right now, I'm also doing a wear test of the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation. So if you wanna see that video, if I haven't posted it yet, um, keep an eye out for it, but if I have I'll go ahead and link it down in the description box below So so before we get started if you guys are new Hey, my name's Liz go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below Also ring that notification bell so you guys are notified for all my future videos and if you want to see a little tutorial slash review on this palette then just keep watching the one thing that is not my favorite is you just get your fingerprints all over the front and it's really annoying so other than that the packaging is fine it's just that like plastic material um for whatever reason i always have a hard time opening it up but so like i said before this is what the palette looks like it just screams fall and since we're moving on into the colder season although arizona is still pretty warm um, I, I will live through this to pretend like it's fall here. So, um, I'm really excited to jump on in. So let's just start. My eyes are already primed. I put foundation and concealer on them and set them with the powder. So I'm going to start with my Morphe M535 and I'm going to jump into this shade right here. It's called cookie dough. It's just the lightest transition shade. It looks like does have a little bit of kickback. I don't know how well you can see that, but a little bit of kickback, not too bad. So I'm just gonna start throwing this on into my crease in my transition area. So far, this blends really, really nicely. I feel like it builds really nicely as well. And I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M433 and I'm gonna go into this shade right here. It's called Cheesecake. And I'm gonna place this all over my crease and kind of on the outer corners. I'm gonna take a little brush like this. This is a Sigma Smell Tapered Blending Brush. It's the E45. I am gonna go in to, I'm just gonna take like the smallest bit of this shade right here. It's called Brownies. I'm really just gonna lightly dip on in there. I just kinda wanna deepen up the outer corners just a little bit. Nothing like too crazy. I just wanna add a little bit of dimension out here okay so I'm gonna take this flat brush this is the Olimar cosmetics concealer brush I believe is what it's called and I'm gonna take this shade right here it's called romance it's just a reddish purplish shimmer shade so first I'm gonna go in with just a dry brush I really want to see how this performs just completely dry so I did get a little bit of pigment off of there. So I'm just gonna start adding it onto my lid and see what happens. Not a whole lot is happening. So I think I am gonna maybe first go in with my finger 
comes off pretty well on my finger. So I'm just gonna kind of press it on. I'm just kind of like stamping it. I'm not, I'm still like not really getting the pigment that I want. And typically with a finger, it normally works really, really well. I mean, it shows up, but it's not like given that pop that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some on my brush and then I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray. And then I'm gonna go back in. There we go. That is what I was looking for. So I'm just gonna take a little brush like this. This is the Luxie 231 brush. Um, I'm gonna go back into the shade Cheesecake with it. I'm just gonna do a little bit of dabbing right in there. And I'm gonna kind of blend these two shades together. Okay, so now what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the other side of my brush, and again, I'm gonna spray it just because I sprayed the other one. And I'm gonna take this shade right here, it's called Every Day. It's just a nice, light, shimmery shade. And I'm gonna put it right in the inner corner of my eye kind of dragging it a little bit onto my eyelid. Okay, I'm gonna go do the rest of that off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, I got that other eye done. The one thing that I will say is with this everyday shade, I do feel like you kind of have to build it up quite a bit to get it to continue to show. Um, I just kind of feel like you put it on and then it kind of starts fading away pretty quickly. Um, so I just built it up, built it up, built it up until it stopped doing that. So that's one thing that I will say is a little bit annoying is you just kind of have to keep building the, the shimmer shades up quite a bit to get them to stay as shimmery, I guess. I'm gonna move on to the bottom lash line. I'm gonna take the Morphe E18 and I'm gonna kind of do exactly what I did with the top lid, sort of. I'm gonna take the shade Cookie Dough. I'm gonna run this basically along the entire lash line. And then I also will say is that I didn't really get much fallout with the shimmer shades, especially spraying my brush. I didn't notice anything too bad. I saw maybe like a couple little flakes, but honestly, nothing horrible. I was a little worried about doing my foundation before I did my eyeshadow, but I honestly don't see anything too crazy. I'm going to take a flat little brush like this. This is, again, the Olimar Cosmetics. It's just a flat little brush like that. I'm going to go into the shade Reputation. It's this shade right here. And I'm basically going to use this as eyeliner. Just stamping it close to my lashes. And then I will do that on the bottom lash line. But I'm only gonna go halfway with this. So I'm gonna stop right about there. And then I'm gonna go in with the same brush, the Morphe E18. I'm gonna pick up that cheesecake shade, this one right here. And then I'm going to run that along my bottom lash line as well. And I'm just going to kind of buff out that black. And then I'm going to take my Morphe E36. I'm going to go back into the everyday shade. And I'm just going to pop this right on the inner corners. Okay, so I think I'm about done with the eyeshadow. I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes and throw on some mascara. This is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Voluminous Mascara. It's one of my all-time favorites, especially from the drugstore. Of course, I wasn't recording any of that. Anyways, my camera died. Sorry about that. <laughs> all that I did was I applied the Jeffree Star Celebrity Skin lipstick and then I applied the Dose of Colors Seriously Gloss. I really like this combination. I think it's really pretty and I think that it goes with the eyes really well. So um, overall, my opinion on this palette, I think that this is a really pretty palette. Honestly, for $15, I think that this is just a really nice fall palette. I'm going to say palette a lot, apparently. 
Um, but I think that the mattes performed absolutely beautiful. Even the dark one, the brownie shade right here um, on the outer corners. I just think that everything blended really, really nicely together. Um, as far as the shimmer shades that I used, I feel like the shade Romance didn't come off quite as metallic as I'd wanted it to. I used my finger, a dry brush, and a wet brush, and I just don't feel like it's as popping as I wish that it was. And then for the everyday shade right here, um, I did have to build it up quite a bit like this to get it to look like this. And I did have to use a wet brush to get it to look like this as well, but um, nothing terrible fallout. There was hardly any. So I did do my face makeup before my eyeshadow and I didn't see any issues with it hardly at all. So as far as fallout goes, I think that you're safe on that. But um, yeah, I think that this palette is really, really pretty. I feel like my eye look came out really, really beautiful. Um, I really like it. It's just very fall and fun. So yeah, as far as not trying eyeshadow palettes from Makeup Revolution, this being the first one, I'm pretty impressed. From everything that I've seen and heard is that their formulas are just getting better and better. So if you guys have any other Makeup Revolution palettes that you guys like, that you think that I would like, definitely let me know in the comments below. I want to see them and I want to be able to try them. So let me know what palettes from Makeup Revolution that you love. And let me know what you guys think about this palette in the comments down below. Do you guys like the color scheme of this palette um what do you think is it something that you guys are interested in picking up or if you have picked it up let me know your thoughts on it in the comments down below so that's it i think for a 15 dollar eyeshadow palette from the drugstore this is pretty great um i bought mine online at ulta and i know that you can check the stock on ulta's website so uh, it's just driving me nuts that this is not like shiny and not fingerprinty. That's the only bad thing I have to say is that this is driving me crazy. <laughs> but so uh, thank you guys again so much for watching. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.